Hi everyone, um, we're here in Abuja. Uh, in a few, in a few minutes, people are going to start arriving at the venue for the fundraising event. Uh, like you all know, like I told you, a couple of friends of mine uh, put together this private event, and. Um, I, I helped to send out some of the IVs, but uh, they basically had to organize most of, uh, of this event. And um, I'm so grateful to them. You know who you are. A lot of them don't want to be announced in public. They, they decide to remain anonymous, but it's, it's live. I'm here in Abuja. I came in this morning from Enugu. So, I expect that it's going to be a successful event. Um, it's always good to have people who, who believe in your dream, people who, who inspire you to keep going after whatever God has laid in your heart to do. And uh, these are people that keep us going. And I'm so grateful to them. Uh, it's a very, very, very cozy place. It's actually uh, an art studio. <laughs> it's actually an art studio, and uh, I'm going to show you more of the place and someone coming in. <clears throat> yeah, I can show you some of the artwork that is in this place, so you guys can see what you're missing. If you come to this place, you're going to enjoy it. The sound, the, the sight of the place, the environment, everything about it is gorgeous. Hey! <laughs> you and the government! How are you? How are you? Good to see you. Let me show people. That's my brother's life. <laughs> uh, let me show you. Say hi to everybody. Hello, everybody. How are you? <laughs> All right. So now you believe that I'm in Abuja. <laughs> How was it? How was work today? Tired. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I've been with uh, Ure. Yes. Yeah, we we're smiling. Man. <laughs> Finally, you see. Yeah, I get to see. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I'm gonna show them around and then I'll tell you. Yeah. All right. So, guys, I'm just gonna show you around the place, so you see what the place looks like. It's amazing the artworks that we have here. See? See that? Beautiful. This one is made out of, guess what? It's made out of nails. It's actually nails. Nails and uh, wire. Put them together. And that's how they came up with this artwork. Awesome. Wow. These are all nails. Even this one is nails. It's, I never really... Wow, and then bolts. That, that's bolts. That bolts. Interesting. This one is uh, it's made out of... Uh, looks like a clock. Yeah, it looks like a clock. And this one is a tree trunk. That's just... Um, cut and made it into something else. You guys know what this is? This is actually actually made out of a newspaper. <clears throat> Can you believe it? It's made out of newspaper. Out of recycled material. Most of the things here are made out of recycled material. Very, very ingenious. I'm going to show you guys this. It's a fantastic one. I hope it's bright enough. Yeah. This one, this whole thing, you can never guess what this is made out of. This, this big installation that you see, when I get close, you're going to be shocked what is made out of. So let's come close. 
come close and guess what it's made out of cassettes yeah you know the old cassettes yeah so they tie the cassettes together they bind them all together into an artwork so that's what we got here uh, very very interesting very very interesting and there's this sorry guys i want to take you into a washroom <laughs> This washroom is so so interesting. This is a washroom, can you believe it? This is a sink. A wooden sink. <laughs> wooden sink. And, and uh okay, this is made out of this is made out of wood. This is made out of wood. And this is made out of uh, clay. And it actually works. That's what it works. See that? It actually works. All handmade African art. Yeah, that's what you get when your brother is an artist. <laughs> Everything here. Look at the walls of the washroom. Look at the floor. It's actually a washroom floor. And then I keep showing you more interesting artworks. Guess what this is made out of? It's made out of a panel of uh, some old electronics like a radio. Yeah. You know, the radio. Interesting too, right? Uh huh. Check that out. Interesting. And this is a this is a garden street lamb. It's like a, yep. You can put this in the garden, and you can sit down here. You can sit down here and then read a book, and then the light will come from inside this pot. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. Mm. Let me show you so something very big too. Um, see that one up there? That is made from... Uh, it's made from... Um, cement bags. Believe it or not, that is made out of cement bags. Can you beat that? A cement bags up there. And then there's this one right beside me. Some carvings. Okay. And then there is this one here. Made out of uh, wood panels bound together. Bits of wood, bits of wood, they bind them together and it comes out looking beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, let's go in here. It's a uh, chair. Just made out of a uh, chest. There's that too. Mm. Did you know that this hall is made out of cement bags? This whole thing is made out of cement bags. You don't believe it? Let's come very close. You see, mm -hmm. you see, dangote, dangote cement bags. So you see how they use um, 
recycle old materials, recycled materials to make beautiful artwork. This is a huge installation. Unbelievable. Made out of cement bags completely. See? See? Cement bag. On the other side is cement bag. Oh, I love this one too. To the butler. We have uh oh this is very interesting. Everything here is customized. This is a lot of supper. This part so guys, if you're supposed to be here, you better start getting ready because um, we're starting at six o'clock and we're not gonna be long here, we're gonna be here for about two hours and we'll be done okay so you know yourselves and if you think you should be here and you didn't get an invite they didn't contact you please please my apologies could you reach out to me because this is a, it's a family thing it's a friend it's a friendship thing it's about people who care about your vision, people who care about your dreams. It's about Enugu State people. And it's about making Enugu State great again. And to do this, you need the support of your friends. You need the support of your colleagues. You need the support of everybody who believes in what you're doing. And besides, this is the time for young people to be active in politics. You know, we cannot be intimidated we cannot be discouraged by what we see we can't just be online on facebook on twitter and just be making noise and be attacking people we need to actually get involved that's the only way we can affect the change that we want and that's why some of us are in politics that's why we're sticking out there it's not easy it's very demanding it's energy sapping it's um it's risky it's it's so many things in one but somebody has to do it and that's what we're doing we don't have any regrets there's been a lot of um a lot of lessons learned we continue to learn every day we continue to improve we continue to to sharpen our skills and we continue to navigate the murky waters of uh, politics but the good thing is that we are there and we are, we are trying to make that needed change. And I encourage other young people. And um, when I say young, you know, Nigeria youth suffered arrested development where when we were supposed to be <laughs> youth, we didn't achieve much. And so the youth bracket or the bracket for a young person in Nigeria extends close to 60 years you know because some of us are at 55 and we're not even achieved what 30 year old people achieve in other countries okay so um we really really need um really really need 
to to get into the things and be part of uh, be part of the system. Okay, guys, I'm hoping that you're gonna come and uh, support those of us who are actually in this politics who are trying to do our best to represent who are trying to do our best to change the status quo to change the narrative to show that um time to move nigeria forward time to move nigeria from the analog way of thinking to digital way of thinking is right now i'm talking especially about my state you know this is the time for us to come together and um, help support anybody out there who is trying to make things happen. Cosmos Ubusu, how are you Cosmos? I think I wish you happy birthday. I hope you're coming. I think they sent you the invite. Make sure you come. Ola Bukunola, Oyetunde, Olale, Ah, Chief John, how are you, my Oga? Chief Architect, I hope you're around. I'm waiting to see you. Uh, Robot um, Opera, sorry guys, my hand keeps getting into the camera because I'm trying to scroll. OGB Okoge. Ah, OGB, my man. Engineer, how are you, my brother? Emmy Dawn. Gas Gas. Eric Awayan. Bazwari Enterprises. GBK MFM. How is the. It's evening here. Is it time for the debate yet? Man, that's a good one. I was impressed. Keep it up, my brother. Keep it up. Yeah, we got to keep moving. We got to keep representing wherever we are in Canada, in Nigeria, everywhere. So GBK FM is representing well in Toronto. Christopher Okonta, Elsie, Yingawuni, Ibrahim, Blessing Charles, Patience, Bentu, Kola de Benson. Hey, Chief Kola. <laughs> Omoyemi, how are you, my brother? Godwin Okwibe, my big, big brother. Maduka Chinemelum Ogweleka, Niade, Exeta, Oluwa Dele. Oh, this thing keeps popping up. What's this? Oluwa Dele Bolutife. Thank you for being on. Chidi Orisakwe, Godwin Aka, Remo Patrosi. Hey, Remo. I'm Barista Fumi Kazin. Guys, anybody who is around, you got to start coming. We're waiting for you. We are ready for you. We don't ready to wait for you. Robert C.C. Opara. Um, yeah, we're ready. We're ready. Where are you guys? We need Igbo guy as vice president, Samuel Kekere. <laughs> My brother, let me just to talk for mouth. Igbo guy as vice president is good, but we have to come out and participate. Okay, we can't just sit down and not participate in politics and expect things to happen. In fine, Ichuku Jeku, um, take it back. We need Igbo guy as vice president take it back you know it doesn't matter to me what tribe becomes a vice president it's more about who can do the job okay if an also guy can do the job let him do the job if a yoruba guy can do the job let him do the job if an Igbo guy can do the job let him do the job it's not everybody who is uh uh Yoruba that is good. It's not everybody who is Hausa. And besides, it's not just Hausa, Yoruba, and Igbo that are the only tribes in Nigeria. How about the ethics? How about the Birom? How about the, the the Jaws? How about so many other tribes? You think they too don't want to be the vice president? I think we, we, we get caught up in the fact that we think only the big, the, the three prominent tribes are the only ones that exist in Nigeria. No way. There's close to 200 and it is something other uh, tribes or languages in Nigeria. So it doesn't matter who it's there. Please, we need more vote from the East. Well, you know what? It depends on the East. The East needs to buckle up their acts and um, decide how they want to go with things, okay? We just can't um, build 
build a tent on our past experiences and just stay and not move ahead. What I think the East should do is stop, reappraise how far we've come, strategize on how we can move forward. That's what people should do. She Rosario, Rosario, how are you doing? Igwe Okala, ah, my Igwe, how are you doing, guys? Thank you so much. Everybody go, go and click on the GoFundMe if you're outside Nigeria. Click on the GoFundMe and donate, donate, donate. That's what we need. We need money. Everything in Nigeria is money, money, money. <laughs> if you say good morning, you get money in return. <laughs> Politics is expensive. I'm telling you, that's the number one thing you learn when you come to do politics in Nigeria. It's money, money, money. <laughs> so we need money. We need money, guys. Levi Chooks. You cheer Levi Chooks all the way in uh, Sweden. Chooks, I, we can handle um, uh, in Sweden. Mary, what do they use in Sweden? What currency do you use in Sweden? Sweden? Yeah? I think it's Swedish crimes, actually. Swedish crime. Levi, whatever you guys use in Sweden, send it to Nigeria. We need it here. <laughs> and my friend lives in Sweden. Yeah. So, Chooks, send your Swedish money. We can use it here in Nigeria. And guys, Erica just posted information about our GoFundMe page. We need we need you guys to go there to support this um, this mission. We've done so much. We've done so much already. There's what we need back home is a lot of information. People need reorientation. It's so pathetic. It's so so surprising how people don't even know what is going on. They don't know how to think they don't know what is um the right things to do there's a lot of mass mobilization uh in the in the angle of uh, educating people people need to be educated to know what they're supposed to do they need to be educated to know that they shouldn't just accept the one one thousand naira that uh, some politicians just come and share to them because once you do that sometimes you you sold your conscience you sold a right to be able to complain because check it out if 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 thousands of you receive that money from the politician and next time you want to complain about your road they'll be like why are you complaining you already ate the money for the road where do you think i got the money from uh, if somebody's sick in the hospital and there are no drugs after taking the one thousand Naira, 2,000 Naira, 5,000 Naira, you have no right to complain about um, the absence of uh, uh, good hospital equipment. If there's no science equipment in your children's laboratory, after collecting that money, you cannot complain. If your roads are filled with potholes, guess what? That's where this money is that you're given came from. It came out of contracts that were not executed because the money was uh, pocketed by the contractor and now you have bad roads so that's the danger of collecting some people say just collect the money and go and vote for whoever you want to vote but you see you have to deal with your conscience because if you take the money from the guy and you say i'm going to vote for you when you don't vote then you feel like um you've not kept your part of the of the deal so instead of having to deal with your conscience i think you must strive to not take that money, okay? Don't. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. But on the other, on the other side, guys, it is. It is. I said it in a video. It is kind of very difficult for you to be looking at a man who has not eaten, a man who, whose kids are sick, a man who cannot pay his kids' school fees. He's just looking for a meal to give his family that particular time, and he. He sees that 1,000 Naira because of the economic situation in Nigeria. He sees it as a lifeline. And you look him straight in the face and tell him not to take that 100, that 1,000 Naira and then you're not going to give him any money 
my goodness, you just figured that out. I, you don't want to be caught in that situation. It's a very, very difficult situation. So, um, guys, we need your support. We need your support for logistics. We need your support. <laughs> Sorry, guys, my little name is Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> my, little, my little name is Dancy. It's just uh, it's it's so exciting just to see him dancing. I'm gonna show you the little man much later. If if um if the mommy thinks it's okay, but we'll do that much later. So like I was telling you guys, um we need your support. Hey Pastor AB Five Face. I hope you got the, the invite. I hope you guys are coming. I don't know who got the invite and who didn't get the invite. But please, 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 if you, if you didn't get the invite, please get in touch with me um, through Facebook, through, hey, bravo, my dear pastor, how are you doing? Am I seeing you tonight? Are you coming uh, or what? I'm in your area. So make gonna show where is fine face. Twelve and I make me drag my brother. I'm gonna come see my brother live. I'm live and direct in Abuja. <laughs> let's let's make this work, guys. Let's make this work. We need money for for billboards. We need money for for campaign posters. We need money for jingles. We need money for branding. Samuel Kikere says, my opinion, we need Igbo guy as vice president. More vote from his take it back. Okay, I agree with you, Samuel. Let's, let's move on. So guys, we, like I was saying, we need uh, money for logistics. We are not talking about uh, sharing money to people. We don't share money to people. Uh, that's our principle. We don't share money to people. We use it to run an election and we don't have any money bags we don't have any money bags we don't have any godfathers or godmothers or god aunties god sisters god friends <laughs> we only have god the father and so god the father um thank you thank you pastor Abby. we have got the father um behind us and we believe that he's going to provide the people that will um, support this vision. I was listening to my brother Fine Face uh, in his broadcast the other day. He was saying that if God has sent you, he will equip you. And he would, um, even when you don't have resources, he's going to send people to come and assist you. He's going to send people to come to your aid. And that's the premises upon which I believe that God will touch a lot of people, our friends, our colleagues, everybody to come and uh, make this this vision happen. It is um, it is very humongous. It's intimidating. I must tell you, it's um, it's depressing sometimes. But you know what? Um, there is nothing that is too big for God to do. Okay. There is no mountain that is too high. There is no valley that is too deep. All you have to do is believe. And you know, once you take the first step, God will um, God will order your steps. Okay. So what we've done is we've taken that first step, and we know that it will lead to better and better things because the Bible says so. The Bible says that the path of the righteous leads to uh, a better and brighter uh, things, okay? All right, so keep uh, donating. Some of you have donated. Um, we thank you. We, we get the alert and we appreciate you. We promise you that this, this, these funds are, are going to be used prudently and judiciously. If anybody wants to know how these funds are, are used, we are transparent enough to share it with them. And if you know me, if you know me and my wife, and you know our track records, I'm sure you know we are people who are prudent, we are people who are hardworking, we are people who know how to manage resources. So, there you have it. We are not going to go succumb to 
the politicians who want to to come and um, become their political children and they're becoming your, your political godfather. We are going to succumb to them. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to show you my, can you show you my camera? Huh? Uh -huh. I'm on Facebook Live. Is it okay if it shows? I will, I will achieve, let me do your stuff. No, 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 no. I'm not sure if, is it okay if it comes live? If you see, right? I don't know. Uh, well, well, I don't know. I think mean, you can, it's live and it will be temporary somewhere. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, okay, okay. Don't worry, don't worry. You take this time, don't worry. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. I have this little nephew. He's was just very. Last time I saw him was very small. Now he's big, big as in walking around, running everywhere. This kid is amazing. He grows so very fast. So guys, we really, really need you, Robert Chizabandi. Oh, Mayoga, how are you, sir? Thanks for coming on, Peter Simon. La la. Obio Todia. Ah! Lolo. Lolo, it's good to see you. Hi, it's T.O. I hear the code and started there. Uh, I started showing face. <laughs> all, the, all the summer enjoyment is over. Don't worry, I'll be seeing you guys very soon. So, guys, seriously. We need your we need your support. We need your support. We've um, we've carried this thing so far, and at uh, this point in time, we really need your support. Uh, we we've done our best. We've, um, we've 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 carried the campaign so far to this extent, and now we really need your support. You can donate to our GoFundMe. Uh, if you are outside Nigeria, you can also donate to a Nigerian account, the IBTC account. It's, if you scroll up and down, you see where Erica has posted these uh, donations. Now, let's pause and do something, guys. If you do me a favor, can you just click and um, forward this video to somebody uh, who you think needs to see this. Ah, Prince Julius. Prince Julius himself is watching from Toronto. My Prince, I'm very loyal, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Nansuago, thank you for coming on. Guys, let's share this video. We never know where we're going to get the support we're looking for. Okay? We'd rather take money from our friends, from people that we trust, than take money from one big politician who is going to tell you, is going to read, read, read the guidelines for you. Actually, a politician approached me and he says, listen, I can make you, can make you, um, I can give you whatever you want, whatever post you want, but you know what, you got to come and we're going to sign a contract. I'm going to tell you exactly what you're going to do when you get into office. My brother, eh, they can't run when I run. Eh? When you see the conditions, I say, sure. Is that what Nigerian politics is all about? I say, I don't want to. I don't want. Say, so please, could you call out the account name and bank for supporters in Nigeria? Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. The account name. Uh, let me do this. Uh, so, the account name for people in Nigeria is Stambi, uh, the account name is Chidi Kadek Mayam, is um, Stambi IBTC, and the account number is 930-201-6150. The account number is 930-201-6150.
that's for people in Nigeria. You can um, do a direct transfer into Stambik IBTC Bank, and we will be glad to use this to support our campaign. That is the right way to go about this. We're not going to succumb to the old way of doing things where you go and look for a political, political father. I'm running out of battery. I need to plug this. Where you look for a political father to 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 bankroll your 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 campaign, and then when you get into office, they're gonna determine for you what they want you to do. We're not gonna do that. No way. We've come a long way. We've come a long way. We're not gonna do that. So let's share this, guys. Let's share this. Uloma Aliche, how are you, my sister? Uloma, I've not seen your donation, no. I've not seen your donation, although we have a date in Toronto. On the 13th, on the 13th, we have a date. I know you're going to be there. Thank you so much for all your support. Guys, this thing, we got to do this. We have to do this. We can't give up. We can't, we can't back out. We can't, we can't let these people... Because, you know, they've been telling me that we're not serious. There's no way we can make an impact. The reason why they say this is because they think it's only when we come to them and take their stolen money that we can make any difference. And we are insisting that it is not true. It is not true. Things can be done differently. This is how campaign funds are raised elsewhere where the system works. People raise money, one dollar, one pound at a time. We're gonna raise our money, one dollar at a time, one naira at a time, and we will do it because the strength of the people is more than the strength of a few individuals that think they are the lords. They think they are the kingmakers. They think they are the godfathers and godmothers and they are the ones that decide what goes on in Nigeria. We say no to that. We in the African Action Congress, we say no to this. But you know what? This night is not really about a party that you belong to. This night is about a vision. It's about my vision. It's about my dream to become the governor of Enugu State 2019. And that's what we're talking about here. You can lend your support it doesn't matter your political ideology. It doesn't matter your candidate of choice. Um, it's about me. It's about uh, establishing that, uh, that dream, that mission, that vision that God has laid in my heart. That's what this is all about. That's what I'm asking you to support. Okay? Um, not better, Koli. How are you, my brother? Thanks for watching. Eze Izuchuku Phillips. Comrade Eze is a triple feeling. How are you? How is everything? Jennifer Mwano CK Oyelade. Thank you so much. Patricia Ahibe. Let me, let me wave at you. <laughs> How are you, Patricia? How are you doing? Thank you so much. Hill Clem. Bravo. Thank you. Bravo. Bravo too. Guys, we are going to do this. They are going to say we are not serious. You're going to say that we won't move far, but I know that we are making great impact. I have been on ground for two months now. We've been campaigning at the grassroots. It's not about the flashiness. It's not about razzmatazz. There's lots of interactions that we cannot, um, we cannot put on the public space, you understand, to protect the individuals that we spoke to. But there is a general feeling of dissatisfaction. Honestly, people are tired, people are hungry, people need a change, not the kind of change that APC gives to Nigerians. We're talking about a totally, completely radical change. That's what we're talking about in Nigeria. A change that will see people not, do you know the amount of beggars you have on the streets of Nigeria right now? And let me even focus on any state. There are beggars on 
streets in Enugu like you have never seen before. Uh, yeah, as I had a smooth trip, I had a smooth trip. Um, there are beggars on the street like you have never seen before. People are hungry. You see, I always talk about this hunger. People say, oh, Chidi, why are you always just talking about hunger, hunger? Can't we talk about something else? Well, I wish I could. I wish I could talk about something else. You know, because once people are not hungry, then they can focus on so many other things. We have online with we have online with us the Honorable Commissioner for Economic Planning, Budget and Development Partners, Anambra State, Mr. Mark O'Clear. Oh wow, wow, Mr. Mark, how are you? <laughs> uh, these are the kind of people that we want in government. I met um, I get I met the Honorable Commissioner um, at Enugu um, uh, one time I was traveling, and you know he just represents the kind of thing that we want to see in Nigeria. That is what is obtainable elsewhere. Young people with smart, sharp, razor, sh you know, razor sharp ideas. Just by looking at them, you just have faith in what they're doing. Just without even doing anything. That's the kind of thing that we want. That's the kind of thing we're bringing into the public space. It's not even about the, the party now, but it's about the ideology. It's about... Um, the zeal is about the, the passion that we bring, that, that young people bring. Look at all these new presidents who are young people. See uh, the dynamism, the dynamism they, they, they exhibit. And look at what is happening to their economies. Look at what the French, um, the French president is doing with his country. Look at what, uh, what even... Uh, the Prime Minister of Canada is dealing with Canada. Anywhere that you have young presidents, go and see what they're doing. Bitalis Akachuku. This is this is this is my brother in Canada. Vitalis, I greet my brother. How is everything? How is uh, how is Canada? I hear that it's cold. Do you think I should come back? <laughs> Maybe I should not come back. <laughs> Every time I think about it. it it was so, it was so very, very, uh, so very, very interesting, and it was too much fun you guys had. And now the cold is coming, but it's okay. Even with the cold, the system still works, and it is a beautiful place to be. You see, sometimes I wish we would just gather everybody and and take them to see where a system works. Okay, when you see where a system works. You would appreciate some of the things that we try to introduce in uh, in Nigeria. Okay, when I tell people about improve, improving uh, agriculture and improving improving food production, they, they keep wondering why why are you so stuck on food? Why are you so stuck on food? I am so stuck on food because a hungry man is an angry man. Somebody who feeds well is not sick so a lot of all the sickness that we have is because people don't feed well if people feed well if people you see one other thing that has happened to us is that we've abandoned our natural high uh potency foods and we've adopted this this nonsensical lifestyle of uh trying to uh, trying to think we're living more than and we just eat foods that don't give us anything in our body. We we'll just eat rice, 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 rice in a bit to be, to be, to be current, to, to be like township people. And they forgot about all our legumes. They forgot about abubu. They forgot about fio fio. They, for, they forgot about leaves like kren kren. Some of you are wondering what is he talking about. They, they, they forgot about opa. They talk, They forgot about ba, bambara nuts. Lots. They, they forgot about. Uh, did I talk about Akidi? All these foods that are very, very good. No, 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 no. No, you guys are not disturbing me. No, no, no come on. Please, you're not disturbing me. Huh? I'm gonna be there for maybe five more minutes. Yeah, yeah. So, guys, we we, we expect people to continue to 
eat our foods. You know, I've, 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 I I ate about I, I ate achicha the other day. Man, that was a delicacy, man. I missed something like that. I ate a chicha and then I um I was it was so interesting. It was so interesting. And you know the funny thing is the Chinese are coming and they are taking these foods that we don't that we, are, we don't take serious. They are taking these foods and they are they are taking them back to their place and we are here regarding them like uh, bush food. So anyways, you see why we are stuck on agriculture? Because if we get it right, every other thing will fall into place. Okay? It is all contained in our mega vision. I'm going to be talking about the mega vision this night during the meeting. But for, uh, for those of you who are watching here, we have a mega vision and that is a summary of our agenda for Enugu State. That is really what is our, our our manifesto under the mega vision which is M E G A M is where we multiply food production. E is where we enhance the economy of Enugu State. G is where we provide a great health scheme and A is where we provide an advanced world class infrastructure for Enugu State. Now under these headings, we have subheadings where we cover where we cover education and where we cover uh, women's rights, where we cover all kinds of things. Everything is covered, but we are taking them uh, by way of priority. We are prioritizing them based on our research, based on our findings in Enugu State. Uh, about what people really need in Enugu State. That's why we structured our our manifesto for Enugu State. Of course, our manifesto is also tied to the manifesto of the bigger body, the African Action Congress, which is contained uh, under the acronym Spicer Heat. Uh, I'm not going to go into there, but uh, things like uh, security, uh, things like power, things like infrastructure, uh, things like um, fighting corruption, things like education, uh, so many other things are contained in that spice of it. And whatever we do in Enugu State is tied to the central vision of the African Action Congress and the Take It Back movement. So there you know, we, we, are, we, are, we are really serious about what we're doing. We have a big support, we are well connected. We are, we, are, we are sound in, our, in, our, in constructing our vision and our mission. And these are things that we have deliberated on. We have committees who have sat down and we have weighed the pros and cons of whatever we are proposing. And we know that they work. All right, I'm going to go off the live video. Uh, people have started coming in. So let me go and then uh, attend to them and I will get back to you. Remember to show us some love. Some of you have already started showing us love. We appreciate you, we thank you. We need money for, for, for logistics. The politics in Nigeria takes so much money. We, we're gonna make tea, we need to make t-shirts. We need to make, um, uh, we need to make um, banners. We need to brand vehicles. We need to put up billboards, one billboard sometimes costs as much as 750,000 Naira. <laughs> so you can imagine uh, how many billboards we need to put. Anyways, we need your donation, we need your donation, we need your donation. For now, I'm gonna sign off, all right? I'm waiting for you guys, those of you on the way, those of you caught in traffic, we're waiting for you. All right, bye-bye guys.